Hello first grade. We're going to do another common sense media lesson today to learn more about staying safe online. We'll discover ways to think carefully about the websites we visit to decide if they are safe for us. After this lesson, you will take a quiz in Canvas to show your learning. When you play outside without a grown-up, what are some of the things you do to stay safe? You might remember to follow your family's safety rules, to not talk to strangers, and to know when you need to get help. Today, we're going to talk about how staying safe on the internet, the apps and websites you visit, are similar to staying safe in your neighborhood. We're going to start by watching a fun video of the digital citizens showing us how they stay safe online. One of the phrases you'll hear in the video is trust your gut. I want you to know that this is an expression that means you should trust your feelings about whether something is right or wrong. We go online to find new things to do and see. The internet traffic light shows where we need to be. Green means go sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. The digital citizens stayed safe online by using the internet traffic light. As you know, a regular traffic light tells people who are driving cars when they need to go, slow down, or stop. In the same way, the internet traffic light tells people who are visiting websites and apps whether or not it's okay to go somewhere. A green website or app is one that is just right for you. Just right means that it's appropriate and fitting. Think about your leveled readers at school. You choose a book that is just right for your reading level. Also think about movies. Ones that are rated G or PG are the ones that are just right for your age group. A just right site also has fun things for you to do and see, and it has appropriate words. These are sites that are designed for kids and are great for you to go to. Let's think about some of the green websites or apps that we visited. How do you know they're safe and just right for you? Some of the apps we use in class are ABC Yeah, Starfall, Code.org, and Typetastic. All of these sites have things that are made for kids. These ones also happen to be educational for you. None of them require any of your personal information. For Code.org, you do log in with your email address, but I've set that up for you so that it's safe and private. A yellow website or app is one that you're not sure is just right for you. Maybe the words are hard for you to read, or it asks for private information, such as your full name, address, or phone number. Maybe the site has you fill out a form. Yellow sites, you need to use caution, which means to be careful. You have to ask a grown-up for permission before you go to a yellow website or app. A red website or app is one that is not right for you. Maybe it's a place that you clicked by accident. Maybe it has pictures, words, and videos that are not appropriate. Or maybe they're just meant for older kids or adults, but not your age group. It could be a place where you're allowed to chat with people you don't know. Have you ever seen a red website or app? How did you know it wasn't right for you? Some examples I can think of would be dating sites. As first graders, you're not dating anybody. That's a site that's made for grown-ups, so it would be a red site for you. You should not be there. Another example would be online shopping. You're not old enough to have a credit card, so you don't need to be on any online shopping apps. Another example is social media. To have a social media account, you have to be 13 years old. 
As a first grader, you're not 13 yet, so this is a site made for older kids or grown-ups. A final example is some YouTube videos. Some videos are made for kids, but others are made for teenagers or for grown-ups only. These would all be examples of red websites. Sometimes your parents might say it's okay for you to be on social media with them or certain YouTube videos with them, but it's not a place you should ever be by yourself. Remember, if you ever accidentally click on something and it makes you uncomfortable or you think it's a red website, stop what you're doing and go get a grown-up right away. Let's look at the Internet Traffic Light poem that the Digital Citizens shared with us online. If you have your yellow, red, and green colors that I emailed you about earlier in the week, you can use them with me. We go online to find new things to do and see. The Internet Traffic Light shows where we need to be. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Let's watch the video with our digital citizen friends again. We go online to find new things to do and see. The internet traffic light shows where we need to be. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Green means go to sites we trust. Yellow means slow. Being safe is a must. Red means stop. Ask if it's okay. Trust your gut to go the right way. Great job, guys. Now we're going to play a game to see if you can decide if sites are green, yellow, or red. Each of the statements I'm going to read is about a pretend app or website you might visit. After I read each statement, decide if the website would be green, go, because it's just right, yellow, slow, where you have to be careful or ask permission, or red, stop. You should not go here and get a grown-up if you need help. Think about your answers, and then I'll tell you the correct one. The first example is, you went to the Gamesorama website by accident, and a stranger sent you a message asking for your name and age. Would that be green, yellow, or red? That would be a red website. If a stranger is contacting you, you need a grown-up. Stop and get a grown-up. Let's try another one. The Wacky Bunny site is funny. Even your grandma thinks it's just right for you. Would that be green, yellow, or red? Wacky Bunny sounds like it's a green site. Grandma approves. It's funny. It's meant for kids. You can go there. Here's another example. You are searching for pictures of hearts, but come across a site that makes you feel uncomfortable. Would that be green, yellow, or red? This would be a red website. You need to stop if you feel uncomfortable and go get a grown-up. This sounds like a site that you clicked on by accident. You visit a site about the solar system, but the words are hard to read. Would this be green, yellow, or red? I think this one would be yellow. Just go, go slow and be careful. It sounds like it's an appropriate site because it's about the solar system, but if it has hard words, you might just need to be careful. A site for your favorite TV show has fun things for kids your age to do. Is that green, yellow, or red? I think this would be a green site. You can go to a site that's fun for kids your age. It's designed for you. 
there's a kids sports site you visited that allows people to chat with each other. Would this be green, yellow, or red? I think this one would be yellow. You need to be careful if it's allowing you to chat and you need to ask a grown up first. Your grown up can check if this is truly safe for kids or if they'd prefer you to go to a different site. You're on a game site where a screen pops up and asks for your email address. Is this green, yellow, or red? This one's kind of tricky. If you said either yellow or red, I would say you're right on this one. I think I would go with yellow because a pop-up on a website is easy to close out of. But if that pop-up makes you feel uncomfortable and you said red stop, that's fine too. Let's do two more. Your teacher tells you to visit a site where you can learn things about giraffes. Is that green, yellow, or red? Well, if your teacher told you to go to it, I think you should go to it. That would be a green site. It's right for you. And the last one, you watch a funny video, but notice the videos next to it look like they're for big kids. Would that be green, yellow, or red? I would say the best answer for this one is yellow because you're watching videos that are appropriate for you but you do have to be careful because you see things that might not be okay for you. Again though, if that made you uncomfortable and you said red, that's okay. I would say the best answer for this one though is yellow. Be careful and ask permission. Great job, thanks for playing the game with me. Now it's time to show what you know. Go to my technology page in Canvas and in the weekly lessons, scroll down to lesson nine. In lesson nine, you will see the picture of the traffic light, and that is your internet traffic light quiz. It says today's date, January 8th. Click on the internet traffic light quiz in lesson nine. Once you have finished the quiz, be sure to press the blue submit button to see your score. If you're not happy with your grade, you can take the quiz up to three times. This quiz will have examples of websites and you have to decide if each one is green, safe to go to, it's just right, yellow, you need to be careful and slow, or red, you need to stop and get a grown-up. Please go to Canvas now and in Lesson 9, take your internet traffic light quiz. Thanks!